welcome back to some more Rise of Ronin. We left off as we got to Edo. We're gonna a lot of people talking. We're gonna go ahead and kick off the next part, the quest, I guess, or whatever's supposed to happen next. There's a lot more people here now, and I didn't do anything for these people to get here. Like these people, was, I don't remember none of these people being here when we when we ended last time. What do you need? What do you need? Oops, I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember any of these people being here last time when we uh, ended. It was only just our main party guys, but I'm gonna talk to all the main party guys and stuff first to see if it's gonna be like some uh, leveling up their bond type stuff because we gotta get all the bonds up too. I don't know what this magnifying glass thing is here. I've never seen this. Well, I've seen it, but I don't know what it, how it popped up. I don't. I, I, I don't. I don't know where it came from. Please, but anyways, let's talk to these fools. What can I do for you? Oh, I just want to give you a gift. Go ahead. We were cross since we were little. I can't remember us ever arguing or fighting. Among my six brothers and sisters, he was the one who looked out for me the most. My sisters and their husbands were also good to us, though. <laughs> when I think on it, I'm truly blessed for siblings. All right. Let's uh, give her a gift so we can boost up her bond because we, we gotta get all the bonds up. Some chocolate. We'll give her some chocolate. Her bond is only one. I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna try to give her two and I'm gonna see what happens. I've never given anybody two. I've always given like one. So that boost, that seems like it boosted up a lot because that's tree arrows up. I think tree arrows up is the highest you can get. But I need to test that theory by giving her one chocolate the next time and see what that does. What is it? So he likes beer and what else? Uh, d d uh, uh, Dorama. So we'll give him Dorama because we need beer for other people. But Dorama looks like he was the only person I've seen that likes that. So you let's give him this. Please. So that gave him tree for his as well. Okay, I've never seen this thing. I don't know what this is. Good idea. I've got some time on my hands now. Ah, there was something I've been meaning to ask actually. About the one who trained you. You've mastered the sword, no doubt. But that's not all. You've got real grit. I've never seen anything phase you in the least. You must have had an incredible master. Then you're about to pull up the fields, huh? We had in Master Shoin. To have their pupil revere them is a master's greatest joy. I'm sure. We were truly blessed to have been introduced to the man. He gave us purpose, the chance to focus on our nation's future. By the way, what does your teacher do these days? Dead. I see. The Shogunate. They rule by suppressing the will of the people. Truly, the Shogunate has lost its way, and there is no salvaging it now. Not only do they ignore the cries of the populace, but now they bend to the barbarians knocking at our door. It beggars belief. Can't they see how their people suffer with this disease they have invited into our home? Japan must change, and no one can do it but us. We, who were born and live under the rising sun. It's a little hypocritical, though. You're saying, sure you've had your fair share <clears throat> saying Japan must change, but then you're not willing to open the borders and stuff for Japan to, to change. You want to keep Japan to itself and close and, like, 
just Shota with you. That's not Japan changing. That's Japan staying the same. What do you want? First of all, bro, come at me like that again. <laughs> I'm going to show you what this smooth of a cup tastes like. You know your stuff. Now? Sure. Not a problem. I... And, uh... I wasn't in the mood for the pleasure district either. Good thing you came along, because I feel like a good conversation. Kusaka often leaves to practice his swordsmanship or the like, and gets utterly consumed by it. But I need to break up the monotony, keep things varied. Even in battle, I'm there, wishing I could noodle the shamisen. Why don't you give it a go? Fighting isn't everything. We'll have more to talk about when you understand the finer things. <laughs> you are missing the point. Listening is totally different from praying. Don't worry about praying well. You will understand in due course if you try. And with stuff like this, you can learn the theory. But I remember uh, communicate the joy of playing. Cowboy. Don't overthink uh, it. Just fighting with fighting guns. cowboy, one of the streamers I watch. Work. Pretty famous uh, streamer. You in the right direction. If you if you played any of the souls like damn this nigga keep talking. I'm, I'm trying to catch it in between his 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 talking, but I thought he was gonna stop already. You will understand once you try. If you like to learn, I'll be glad to teach you. Okay. Even if oh, Jesus once. Christ. That, that seemed like it was the end of a sentence. To hear what kind of melody you make. Hey. Okay, good. He's done. <clears throat> All right. Now, like I was, what I was about to say, uh, Fighting Cowboy, when he was criticizing this game, and when he was criticizing uh Razorona, because he he was one of the first people I've seen play Razorona, and he was not for it at all. He was like, I, "I this game is not good," and blah blah blah, going about it. So it made a it made a kind of impression on me. It made me play the game a little later. But one of the things he was criticizing too was the talking. So you can put the original language in Japanese and put subtitles in English, so that way you can go there, which I might wind up changing to. But if you put it in English, they're gonna speak a Japanese dialect of English. And he was criticizing that. He's like, yeah, they're trying to do some funky thing. I'm not, and this is nothing against Cowboy, but he was like, yeah, they're trying to do some funky thing when they're the voice actors uh, have the, uh, a Japanese dialect and stuff like that. And it's just not landing with me. But for me, I think this is perfect because these are Japanese characters. The whole game is based in Japan. So if you give these Japanese people that are Japanese people, and they're not, even, not even just Japanese people, they're Japanese people that are against the Shogunite, so against bringing the Americans in, you're giving them a more English dialect or an American dialect and stuff like that, or British di dialect, then Egerisu dialect, or whatever it can be, then you're, you're, you're not staying true to what they are as Japanese. Like, giving them that Japanese dialect of English makes it seem more realistic, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. That's not me bashing on anybody. Let me say that. That's, that's me saying that they actually did a good job by doing this because they don't normally do this in the games. They don't normally give because it, 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 you think about it uh, from. See, he never liked chocolate before. I think I never had chocolate before. But <clears throat> when you think about it from a different perspective, why would this in any game? Why would this Japanese person that's been born and raised in Japan? have the most perfect English. Not saying that some Japanese people don't have a perfect dialect of English. Some do. I've been over here in Japan for a minute and some of them have a perfect dialect of English. But a lot of them uh, have that Japanese dialect of English because they're trying to learn a different language. And that's perfect that this is being uh, uh, depicted in this type of way. Oh, not, like, like not like normal games when everybody in the game speaks perfect English and everybody has like the same dialect or what it may be. So it, it all depends on who taught them. And a lot of times they're self-taught or they're taught by other Japanese people that learn English. So that when they're learning it, they're learning it with that same dialect. And that's just how it comes off. But uh, if they're taught in more of a, an American way, I know I know being from Jamaica, 
I know some uh, some Asian people that have lived in Jamaica, not just Japanese, some Chinese as well, that lived over there that speak with a Japanese, I mean, not a Japanese, a, they, they speak with a Jamaican dialect. So they sound more Jamaican than some of the Jamaicans because they've been raised and they live there. So that's where they learn English at. Same thing if you got some some Asian folks that sound super country because they was raised in like Arkansas and stuff like that. It's like, it's all, it's all about dialect on how will you learn English from. Bad habit. Our mother died young, so it was really my sister who raised me. What's your family like? Give me a second, y'all. I assume you're not actually tied by blood. Well, it's our heart that tells us who our family is. The crazy thing, too, is really our character has a voice actor and it speaks sometimes, but it does not speak during these dialogue things. It makes no sense. I'm, I'm, I'm picking what I want you to say. And unlike like Mass Effect, when they actually say what I tell them to say, it just... Oh, when I picked it, they heard it like in a, like in a regular freaking uh, uh, JRPG or something. But you gave my character a voice, and sometimes my character will speak during cutscenes, but not doing these dialect th dialogue things. Who knows? Maybe it'll even happen to you and me. The testament of the soul Master Shoin left us is back in our hands. You should give it a read. Master Shoin's last words, the one he entrusted you with, I think he hoped that even if his body should perish, his spirit would remain forever in his homeland. Everything we stand for began with Master Shoin. You might find reading his testament useful. For I didn't change my outfit this time because we haven't found a new area to change my outfit. I'll have a manuscript made so his words can reach even more people. The power of a message relies on it being conveyed, after all. I'm listening. He likes alcohol. That's why I didn't want to get too much alcohol away. And then uh, Gonzo likes alcohol too. Gonzo's the freaking uh, I can't believe it. The big brute guy. Really? Missing you. You can now view the testament of a soul, which enables you to recall past story events experienced by the protagonists and their allies and to return to the previous visited areas. It allows you to reunite with departed characters. Retrying missions and choosing di uh, different story branches may allow you to rewrite history. Hmm. That's a, that's a trophy to do that too, though. Why, why would I retry that, though? And why is this the only one that's popping up? Oh, to retry the family values thing that we just talked about. Or retry this fight. Okay. I think the only thing I need to retry with uh, anybody is that, that mission, the first mission. What What is still popping up? Somebody's still, I think, because I didn't click on all of them. Because I still got that. I don't like having that little uh, red thing. Okay, it's gone now. 
And then the black ship long sword, a long shadows. The only thing I need to do is the very, very first one on the black ship, this one. And then if I beat him, I don't know if it's gonna take me all the back to level one, because it's a level one quest, but I don't know if it's gonna take me all the back to level one, but I'm probably try it off camera and retry it because it's a trophy to beat him to beat the, the blue demon. But if I'm still at my same level and I get to retry it, oh, I'm gonna I'm I'm monster him. But I don't think they're gonna do that. I think I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna put me at level one and then make me retry it that way. But then again, I'm not, all, all these quests have a level, but I was never at the appropriate level anyways. I was over level for majority of these in the first place. So I, I don't know how they're gonna go about it. I don't know how they're gonna go about it at all. So now we need to go to Taka. So that, that's that's a strange thing too. Like it's like now it seems like Taka is also on our side. Taka should be should be behind me. So where the hell is this taking me then? Oof. One the only thing that's showing up is that cat. Where's this? This is not even showing me where the, the quest mark is. Right outside. It's right, right, right on top of me, actually. <clears throat> Chicken. It's kind of under the show nice of as such. You will have to. I don't know. Why I need to go to oh, pleasure district. I'm, I'm assuming going to the pleasure district because uh, Taco's over there. Force and I just leveled up. Why does this look a little bit different? Okay, yeah, because this is the pleasure district of Edo. Ah, so you have come. Now, it is time I told you the truth. Before we can go further, I'm afraid there is something I must yet ask of you. Would you hear me out? Okay, so this is a side quest, and this is the main quest. We'll go ahead and do this side quest, I guess. Thank you. You do me a great kindness. I'll return to my chambers for now. Please come back. I'll be waiting. I have noticed recently that a number of sick geishas seem to have disappeared. I decided to look into the matter and have just learned about a place where a certain geisha is being treated. I would be reassured if she were being seen by a physician, but I have yet to see any evidence of one. That's not all. Everyone seems to be turning a blind eye to what's happening. <clears throat> doesn't feel right. Please, would you be so kind as to check on this geisha? As for me, I'll ask around to see if I can learn more. Let's, we'll go ahead and do this. Usually I do the side quests on my own, but we're we'll going to go ahead and knock the side quests Thanks. out first. If you act like because it, it'll disappear patient, if I don't do it now. Sure you can approach the room without drawing suspicion. I wish you the best of luck. Alrighty. Let me check on these sagacious. How the hell am I supposed to retrace our steps? How is this on the ground? Oh, 
humans for doing nothing. <laughs> Who's there? Your mama. How did you get in here? Get your fat Where back out of here. I swear. Get out. <clears throat> it's always a chubby older lady that's like the head honcho of these things. Something like this was happening like when I was in the Philippines and stuff like that. And stuff too. It's, it's always a chubbier old lady that's like the head honchos. Our geisha are our pride. But if they can't bring in the business, they're simply dead weight. Dead weight we don't have the capacity to support through recovery. And now you've witnessed this. I have no choice. Men, put this wretch out of their misery. I'm about to use my fist some more too so I can get my fist leveled up. Don't think you oh, she about to fight too? Oh, she's she she's uh stronger than him. Okay. Who else is here? Oh, I did that way too early. My sword, too, bitch. Oh, yeah, lucky. The other dude die? Oh, no, he's alive. Be dead, not bound to her knees. Why you bow down to me. me. I'm too sick to warrant your aid. My body hurts all over. My once beautiful skin is. If I can't earn my keep, there is no place for me in Yoshiwara. My only choice is to disappear. What else can I do? Either way, it won't be long till I'm found and silenced. The one who sent you. <laughs> That's kind, but I won't hold my breath. I got, probably got to go back to Taka. Yep, of course, get back above ground. Where the hell she? Oh, she's still over here. Where the hell she go? All I did was go off just a little bit. <clears throat> beauty standards is, uh, I think I talked about this in some earlier videos. Beauty standards is crazy across cultures and stuff as well. Because I guarantee you, most of these geishas are probably like 45 kg. And since kg, uh, kilograms is what they really weigh in over here, 45 kg. It's probably what, what around some of these chicks probably are, right. and you can you can do the, you can do the math on that. You if you do kg and you uh, multiply by two point two, you'll get the pounds. So forty five kg for a full grown adult woman is what that is what it is. So that's like that's less than a hundred pounds. It's like almost a hundred pounds that round out to be for some of these adult women. It's gonna be geishas and stuff, and that's how some of the Japanese women is here. they will be like five one ninety nine pounds. And some of them will still think they're on the bigger side. 
they'll be like five six and 53 kg or something like that and that's on like 116 pounds and you're five six 116 pounds and they're like oh yeah i'm kind of chubby for a japanese girl maybe you won't like me and i'm like you're 116 pounds like i with one arm i can i can lift a dumbbell bench press you one arm and you're thinking that you're on the bigger side because of the, the beauty standards are so strict you with them needing to be so girl, skinny I that that's just how it is was she all right no, she wasn't alright. I'm not gonna lie, cause that's crazy. I see. Then I must go see her as soon as I can. But that chick is probably also sick too, because uh, what, what I was getting to with it is that she doesn't have enough have nutrients and stuff on her body to properly the fight off whatever is happening. But this is also during the time when tuberculosis and stuff like that was going on, so it was killing people pretty, pretty quickly. And Japan didn't have the means of fighting it because it wasn't opening their borders to some of these things. So when these diseases came into them, they'd never seen them before. It's like anything when you, you, you invite a foreign entity in, now you get foreign diseases that you've never messed with before. So it's hard to fight those things off. But you could also fight some things off by proper nutrition and stuff. But geishas and stuff like that, although it was very beautiful. It's the same thing with people nowadays too. That like they're they're not getting properly eating proper nutrition and stuff like that. So they wind up getting sick quicker. Official was killing off the sick. That he combed the pleasure district looking for his next victims. The rumor makes sense. There is frustration with how the shogunate is handling the epidemic. He goes to show how unhappy the people really are. I spoke to the head of the Yoshiwara about the man behind all this. But the pleasure district does not have enough resources. So I would wager it is still business as usual for him. I also still haven't gotten chapter one trophy yet, so I don't even know if I've beat chapter one yet. While you and I remain bound by virtue. Such is the way of the world we live in. Yes. This is all one of my station can do. I suppose these women felt the same way I do. They too long to be free. When we first met, I thought your life seemed so unfettered. But the truth is you too are bound by your past. We both go through life concealing the ties that bind us. We may be very different, yet, in many ways, we are alike. Remember when I asked you to take those photographs for me? It feels like we've grown so much closer since then. They say a camera's true purpose is to preserve one's memories. I never really thought of it that way back in the Pleasure District. Why? Don't we take another photograph right now? That way, we'll never forget this moment. I hope you do this. About to take some pics of her. Take some pics. My heart races being on this side of the lens. Hold on, zoom out. I don't like this. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna capture some of all that in there. Took a photo of the quest by Taka. Okay. So a lot of these trophies are tied to, like, to they, they don't seem like they're missable, but I, I'm pretty sure all the bond trophies are obviously missable. Elegant turn. 
but it's in black and white too. And my, my pilgrim dog came back. All right, let's talk to her about the actual quest we need to do. And now I'm at level three with her. It's separable. I think there's one more level. The issue at hand. I gather you are wondering why I betrayed Lord E. I must admit, he and I, we... He is a very important person to me. In fact, this hairpin is a gift from Lord E. But things are very different now. So much has changed, including my lord and me. The man I once knew is now the Red Demon. And the truth is that the role he has taken on torments him. Witnessing the recent purge opened my eyes. I now know that he must be stopped. And who else can do it but me? It is as if all these years by his side have led to this moment. I let Mrs. Femi escape, though it may yet cost me my life. That was the right thing to do. Yes, I am sure of it. Now, I am suddenly terrified. I can't shake the feeling that something horrible is about to happen. What do you think I should do? Perhaps you're right. I suppose there is nothing to do. But trust them. I'm feeling much better now. I must apologize for letting my emotions get the better of me. Will you join the Satsuma uprising, I wonder? I know a back street out of sight of the Shogunate. I will show you. I only wish there was more I could do for you. Let me know when you're ready to go. I would have uh, picked the whole uh, let's take it down together, but like, what is she gonna do to help me? Is what I was really like. What 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 are, what are you doing here to help me at all? Like, you're not a fighter or anything, so that doesn't help me in the least bit. So let's go ahead and um, hop on with this quest, so we can unlock Edo. Hopefully, Shall we make Edo. our way to the Satsuma Villa in Edo. Yes, together. So you decided to join us. The Blue Demon's forces are marching on Princess Atsuko. It seems there is dissent in the Shogun's ranks. If they take custody of the princess, the Satsuma clan will become hostages. You're the one who brought Fumi back. You have my gratitude. Now we no longer have our hands tied. Leave this to us. You should get somewhere safe. Please, take care of yourself. I'll be waiting. Now to support the Satsuma. Are you ready?
Man, he better hope I got pushed back to level one. <clears throat> Cause I'm about to go back and put some put the beating on this dude. Cause that's crazy. You gonna kill Taka like that? See, he's almost at level four, so I definitely wanna get him. I definitely wanna bring him with me. What's his drink at? So his bond is pretty small. So we'll take him out and put guns on. His bond is I think is pretty good. He has about to be level three. So we'll keep him on because it's about to be the tree. All right, let's start this mission. It's a level 17 mission. I think I'm level 22, so we're good there. <clears throat> All right, let's take a stroll. Let's get to it. All right, are we probably quiet? I think so. Let's see if we can get behind them. Damn, bitch, you just, you, you just had to do that, huh? There's no way to get behind him. Because we can't go up in the cylinder we are. change on somebody else. So there's no way to go up. Alright, optional is to beat three formidable enemies. You basically said you wanted to die. Impressive. You should have stayed in a corner somewhere or something like that. And been and been just looking out the area. You and you a whole ninja, bro. It wasn't very new ninjutsu like of you. Can't go up in the ceiling. There you are. See, that was very ninja like of him, though. But it didn't matter because I got that I got that double assassination technique on. So if I assassinate one person, I can assassinate another one quickly. The thing, the crazy thing, like, like brother, you don't even see me. That's crazy. Your back was turned. Impressive. Where's my first phone before with? Probably one of these two dudes. You're mine. Yep, right there. Let's change my stance. Oh yeah, you got me. I was not paying attention correctly. Get 
That's one. Which probably means there's nobody else around this corner. I'm surprised this this game hasn't had any like crazy walls like uh uh Neo and um and uh what's the other jank? And Wulong. <clears throat> well Neo for sure. Like I get it, this is more realistic, but I, I feel like there should still be like fake walls, because there was definitely like fake walls in the castles and the buildings and stuff like that. And I feel like this game should incorporate that, like a wall that you like press up against and it like flips around to another wall. Okay, now we can go up. Because we got a choice. Oh, no, we do got a choice. We could go right in there, but let's go up. Let's do some sneaky, sneaky stuff. Because I know there's probably somebody down here. Yep. Which one of y'all is the big bad guy? Neither one. Um, I will pull him up, but I'm going to just jump down on him because that way I can surprise them and get the other one. See? Because if I would have pulled him up, the other one, they would have they noticed. And then the other one would have ran away, or like he, 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 I wouldn't be able to assassinate him, basically. Because I, I don't have a technique that can pull two people up at once. I don't know why I'm walking around like this is my house. I'm just trying to find the formidable opponents so I can knock that quest out. Can I come back up here? I probably could run around down there. Oh, yeah, I can. I didn't even know he was there, but he, he, he just got killed anyway. Oh yeah, I come back over here. All right, let's go ahead and go down here and get whatever this is. Shh. Oh, got sliced up. Look like there's anything else around here to mess with. We can go back up here, but I don't think there's anywhere else to go up here either. Shit! I fell right in that fire. I was trying to look around. Yeah, because this is where we came up at. So, yeah, this is fine. That's, we're not missing anything. I just wanted to make sure we wasn't missing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wasn't missing anything. It looks like up above us is a... Is a uh, a veil uh, banner that we need to get, which I'm assuming we're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna be to snatch back above here in a, in a little bit. Oof. Yes, you are. He, he he noticed so late. That's crazy. Naho, I know you're probably watching on uh, on uh, YouTube. You should tell me what hairstyle I should pick next. Yeah, okay, we can get back up here. I was because I feel like there's going to be definitely some enemies around here outside. Maybe a formidable foe. Impressive. I mean, to me, that, that wouldn't make sense for there not to be enemies outside. Exactly.
did it way too early. I don't know what the hell I was doing. Yeah, being, being over level obviously definitely helps because it makes me do more damage to their <clears throat> their stamina gauge, basically their block gauge, whatever you want to call it. So I can uh, break their posture easier. The only time it doesn't really work is when it's the bosses. The the, the, the boss have so much... Oof, almost fell right in that hole. They have so much health compared to everybody else that it's, it's, it's kind of almost unfair. And, and it, I know that doesn't make sense coming from like an RPG thing. Like, hey man, you can level up and this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, whatever it could be. But what I mean, it's kind of unfair because like uh, I, I explained it before. It's like this quest is level 17. I'm level 22, which is obviously it's getting harder to level up now. So I'm, it's getting closer and closer towards like the quest level type deal. Like the more and more we go through the game, the closer and closer it's getting to my level, even though I was over level like crazy. Like I think one of, one of them, I was level eight. I mean, the, the quest was level eight <clears throat> and I was level like uh, 15 or something like that. Which means I should have been monster in that quest. Oh wow! 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 Oh, he killed me. That's crazy that he killed me. <clears throat> wow! He killed me. That's that's the that's only the second time I've been down. But. Like even this, even this for a second, like I, I'm level 22, bro. How did you just kill me in like three hits? And uh, but the boss, I, I can go through this whole thing. And you see how how, how we're just killing everybody else easily. But when you, when it comes to fighting the bosses, the bosses in these janks are way way over level compared to the minions. And granted, it's a boss. I get I get that they make the boss the the boss in most games are a little harder, but the the level comparison between the two is so outrageous that it doesn't even make sense because you can see me kill these dudes like it's easy like if i fight them just one-on-one -on -one, just without uh, assassinating or whatever i kill them like oh yeah it's nothing like oh boy's dead and then you go to the, the named boss of the area <laughs> and the named boss of the area like barely takes damage takes Take, take some hardcore fighting for me to get down. Okay, brother. Keep swinging through my attacks. Keep swinging through my attacks. All right, we got all three of them built. But yeah, the, the the name boss in the area will take will like take my hits like it's cool, like and take everything like it's like it's nothing. And I'm like, dang, bro, like, are you really that strong? Nicely done. That, 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 oh, I thought that was, I thought he, my own partners was, was one of the enemies. That, 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 that assassination was not where I wanted it to be, by the way. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you see me. You're in a panic state, so now you're dead. Like, I don't even get the running assassination, the, the running assassination uh, one because as soon as you start running, they immediately hear your foot, your footsteps, and they're gonna they're gonna be alerted. Didn't know it was back there. I figured something had to be back here though. Didn't know it was gonna be something back there for real though. <coughs> All right, I'm looking. All, I, I think I see where to go, but right now, okay, so I'm supposed to go over there. But I'm looking all over to make sure I don't. I, I don't. Did I just hear a dog? To make to make sure I don't miss anything. Cause this area is pretty big. Looking around, looking around. See, 
Ah, uh, that's what I meant to do. I, that's what I meant to do. I'm glad I just. I'm glad that just happened because that's what I meant to do, man. I need to toggle my my run. Where is it at? I don't care about none of that stuff. Where's my run thing at? Did, did, did y'all see run up here? Or did I just miss it? Lock ons. I don't care about lock ons. All I want is my my run because you can toggle the run to be either a toggle on or a sprinting. Here we go. Oh, no, I don't want to map it. I want to change it to. Why is it not listed there? I want to change it so that it's not that. I did finish Elden Ring. They're insane streaming. I, I finished Elden Ring uh, about a week or two ago. It's up on my YouTube channel. If you follow the link um, that's posted up there, you can go to my YouTube channel and it's, it's posted up there. <clears throat> yeah, that jank was mad hard, though. I, I will say that. How do I change? It's not. No, 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 no. It definitely should be in controls. Definitely should be in, t in controls. I appreciate that though. I appreciate you looking through my my uh, YouTube. Need to need to run that up and uh, get that started. The YouTube seems to be uh, doing a little bit better than uh, my Twitch does. Yeah, I don't see it now. But there was de there, there was definitely a control that that you could toggle the uh, walking. And I don't know where it was at. I don't know why this is defaulted to circle. Maybe I can change the button to default to something else. And that might. What does what does L three do? Uh, L three is a couch crouch, obviously. Mm, okay. All right, I'll worry about it off camera. But yeah, <clears throat> what the hell? Oh, that was just floating there. But I definitely want to change it so my my run is not what it is. So I can be able to ooh, assassinate people a little easier. Oh, yeah, he's definitely getting his bushes right here so you he can't see me. Dang, bro. Ah, oh, I thought my, my assassination didn't come up. Like, how can you... I was in the middle of slicing you. How can you... Slice through me as you are already flinching, being sliced. Who is that? Oh, this guy. Oh, now you're both on fire. How am I? How am I? How? That ain't eating my health away too. Oh, because I'm, I'm I'm still on fire too. That's why. I'm dizzied. I'm everything. All right, I want to make sure I seen everything before. I know I'm poisoned. I'm not worried about being poisoned right now. I don't because I don't think the poison is gonna kill me. That's why I'm not worried about being poisoned. Well, I know the poison isn't gonna kill me because I know I'm not gonna use that much more of my healings. First of all, how was I supposed to see him? He was he was back in the cut. I also know I'm not gonna die because again, these dudes at level 17, I'm at level 22, so I can easily monster these basic enemies away. As long as there's not a grand enemy in there, we're gravy. Hey, bro. Bro just hit front flips on me. He must he must have thought this was part of the gym neck. I mean the uh, the Olympics. I know the Olympics is going on, but chill out, bro. How I'm playing right now reminds me of uh, of my boy Forte. He, he likes the Unga Bunga stuff. Even though I'm not using the Unga Bunga weapon, I'm just going through just masking stuff with like with no style and no grace. That's, that's how he likes to play. I must have killed it right here before. He must have been in here already. Cause this dude looks freshly dead. I 
don't remember being in here though. Oh, this leads all the way around. I must have, I must have didn't go. Yeah, I didn't. I, I just didn't go all the way around. That's what it was. All right, so now we can continue on with this uh, quest. I'm pretty sure you're about to go towards the end part of it. These quests are never like really crazy long. The dialogue is usually like the longest part of these quests. It's not even the quest itself that's long. Let's switch to our spear too. Let's do some spear stuff. All right, how do we get up there? You're the friend. Oh, I ain't even see none of these guys. Okay, bro. I know. I was worried about. I was worried about him. I wasn't paying that proper, proper attention. I almost got myself killed. And this dude just sitting there, the black market dude just sitting in the middle of nowhere. Like 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 we just didn't kill a bunch of people around him and everything. Don't rush. Take your time. Okay, I'm gonna take my time. I got you. <laughs> sure thing. That man seen so much killing that he it just doesn't even bother him there anymore. Don't rush. Take your time. All right, bro. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to sell off all this stuff. I'm about to get my hair cut and stuff after this. Because your boy needs a nice trim. Looking rough. Very well. Let's disassemble uh, a couple things. We'll disassemble this and this and this. And this. Very well. All right. Let's continue now. For your Not seeing any enemies is kind of suspicious. A trick. Yep. Oh, the blue demon. The blue demon's here. So we meet again. But what can you do? Bitch, how did you see me? Oh, he brought, he brought, he brought his boys in. Oh, no, they were just illusions. Oh, he's fucking me up. And I ain't got no stand I'm about to die. Yep, yep. I knew I was about to die right there. I ain't got no stand I'm Whoa. I, I know I'm not supposed to lose this. I know I'm not supposed to lose this. Because it, it, it ain't no way. Like, I understand he's strong and all. Okay, okay. Hold on. Let me bring my other boy back. All right, let me let me change my other weapon because this ain't working for me. This nigga pulled the blicky out. He's so fast. That's what's killing me. He's so fast. Well, if y'all help me out for real. Like, how isn't his, th his, his, his stamina should have been gone? Yeah, fighting this nigga on the, uh, the ship is probably about to be a problem. Well, I was fighting for my damn life. <clears throat> mm, who's this guy? With the Odachi? My lady, we will soon have dealt with the vermin in the grounds. I thank you. It seems all is going according to plan. I'm afraid I must bring something to your attention. What did you say? That's enough. Stop it. 
Oh boy, got the sword through him. He's telling him stop this. That's enough of that. Oh, uh, 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 you couldn't have come a little bit earlier and saved me. Believe it. We must lay down our arms, at least for today. But do not be disheartened. His dream will live on. Together, we will continue his legacy. Thank you once again for your efforts. It pains me, but now we can do little more than wait. I will seclude myself in my inner chambers. You have no need to fear for me. Even the chief minister would not dare come for me there. With my stepfather now gone, the Satsuma clan will be shaken to its core. Its future depends on you and Saigo. But we lack experience, and our master is gone. You know Saigo better than anyone, do you not? Compensate for each other's weaknesses, and secure the clan's future. Yes, my lady. I thank you. Now, what did you say your name was? I ain't give you my name. It's the same as the cat. Actually, I don't think I have one, as a matter of fact. <laughs> what kind of answer is that? Everyone needs a name. Isn't that right, Princess Sato? But the curious individual. I look forward to speaking with you when things calm down. Until next time. This game might be long, if that's the case. If I haven't even finished chapter one yet, like I still haven't gotten the, the trophy pop for chapter one. I, I mean, I'm gonna double check it to make sure, but I don't think I have. And there's three chapters to this game. I did not foresee the stubbornness of the princess. You have been taking matters into your own hands, it seems. But at least the princess has been subdued for now. Fine work, but you are relieved of your duties for now. Go, rest. I don't know why, but those two, the blue demon reminds me of Hanzo Haruhito, and freaking, he reminds me of Ieyasu uh, Isagawa. The freaking uh, Ia guy. All right, we're back to our place. Guys, a little comb and some other nonsense. Uh, got our little Edo part on, the little pleasures of Edo. We, we, we was uh, popping locking with. Uh, that's gonna wind up being it for today. I might pop back on later and and smash another video, but I'm about to go run some errands and stuff like that, and uh, get that going. So I appreciate y'all tuning in, insane streaming. I appreciate you, and I appreciate you also hit me up on my YouTube and stuff. It's it's all love, uh, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.